Ahem, Mr. Colwell. Don't worry, Tom. I know our class time is almost over. I was just going to spend our final minute or two trying to help everyone start memorizing the quadratic formula. Actually, Mr. C, there's something Tom has been waiting to tell you. We have already memorized the quadratic formula. Prepare to be extremely impressed. This is a song about solving quadratics, the hardest kind of problem in like all of mathematics. There are many ways to solve such equations if you dare. There is factoring and grouping and completing of the square. But if these do not work or you need a better tactic, I recommend this formula that's known as the quadratic. It's the quadratic formula, Tom, not the quadratic. That's what I said. And it goes like this. If you want to solve for x, start with negative b, plus or minus the square root of the quantity. b squared minus 4 times a times c, then divide the whole thing by 2a. It's that easy. Hold on a second, that's not easy enough. If I'm solving for x, what's this ABC stuff? Think of your equation as a three-part recipe. Its three ingredients are a, b, and c. A is how many x squared you've got. B is the number of x's after that. Last comes a number by itself. That's C. We plug them in our formula. Repeat after me. If you want to solve for x, start with negative B. Plus or minus the square root of the quantity. B squared minus 4 times A times C. Then divide the whole thing by 2A. It's that easy. This formula is a monster. It looks pretty hairy. But if you can remember it, quadratics aren't scary. So if you do forget it, because your memory is full, or you're spacing out in class, or your brain's not in your skull, don't worry. Just sing along. As we sing the quadratic formula song, Tom. The quadratic Dracula song, Tom. If you want to solve for x, start with negative b. Plus or minus the square root of the quantity. b squared minus 4 times a times c. Then divide the whole thing by 2a. It's that easy. If you want to solve for x, start with negative b. Plus or minus the square root of the quantity. b squared minus 4 times a times c. Then divide the whole thing by 2a. It's that easy. Thank you.